Day 2. I am in a journey to find my financial freedom. And I'm asking myself, how do I achieve financial independence? I'm asking you to take the journey with me. And if that's the case, so that let's first understand what it is that end journey look like in reality. Or what does financial freedom mean to you? Or what does it mean to me? Please do subscribe right now if you are new here. And also like this video. I'm waiting for you. We all know the feeling or the panic that set into our stomach when we are faced with an emergency situation. We wonder how are we going to financially cope. But what if it is just an inconvenience and instead of worrying you have the money to give out without even thinking twice and you have that feeling of complete satisfaction that you have contributed to someone's happiness and do you know that feeling or that sense of relief after helping somebody that's what financial freedom feel like it is more than just being able to afford emergency it is knowing you don't have to worry about your retirement even because you have planned to invest consistently throughout maybe a decade five years 20 years it is the freedom to quit your job so that you do only the thing that you love or stay in your job even does mean you're getting paid less. Financial freedom means that you get to make life decision without being overly stressed about the financial part of it or the financial impact because you are prepared. You control your finances instead of being controlled by them. I really 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 understood that the path to financial independence is in getting rich quick strategy what you know you hear or you see all around the internet and financial freedom doesn't mean that you are free of the responsibility of handling your money it's a quite opposite of that having control over your finances is the fruit of a hard work, sacrifice, and also will take time. And all of that effort is worth it, trust me. So, are you ready to learn how to build a life of financial independence for you and your family? So that means you and me going to work very hard to make that happen because we need to put things in practice. It's not about just reading or watching video. It's about applying those principles in our life. That's not something that I have done before, but I know step by step what I need to do to make it happen. And I'm going to apply them on my daily basis so that I get to that end journey that I said in the beginning. So, let's start by defining what financial independence look like for you or also for me. What does financial freedom mean to you? Financial freedom or financial independence has to be personal. Dream big and get specific about your goal. So, what does financial independence look for you or let's say for me let's look at what it look like for me so what does financial independence look like for you so here is the list of what is like for me and i hope that you know going through that will help us figure out what it's like for you too so to be independent to be financially independent is mean 
for me to have the freedom to choose a job that I love without worrying about money. Have a freedom to take any trip of my dream every year without even making me poor. Having the freedom to pay in cash for a new computer, a new phone, a car, or even a camera of my dream. The freedom to respond to the need of my friends, my relatives, with unlimited generosity. To have a freedom to retire anytime I wish without fearing for my pension. When I am financially independent, I will have options. I don't have to wonder if my bank account can handle replacing, for example, you know, my hot heat, my hot water heater, or my boiler, sorry, or being able to to buy grocery for my single mom friend who just lost her job. So. I am in that journey as an ordinary person to build that extraordinary wealth and these financial freedom challenges. Well, that may sound too good to be true, but you don't have nothing to lose by starting today. You know, in a year, three or five years, we may be among people that call themselves millionaire. So in day three, let's analyze our current situation, our current financial situation, where our money goes, what we spend the money on, and how we can reduce those expenditure. So for you not to miss any of this video, do please subscribe now if you have not subscribed to me yet and also like this video. But if you have anything that you want to add, please use the comment box below. I'm waiting for you. I'm so excited about that, you know. I'm so, I'm so excited that what will happen in a year time, in a three years time, in a five years time. Would I call myself a millionaire? And I hope that, you know, you're here too. So then, you know, we all call ourselves millionaire. So let's get into the challenge. God bless you. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow on day three.